Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video I will show you how to add a timetable for your student in your Moodle course. Maybe you follow a blended learning approach or a flipped classroom methodology where you have live lessons, meaning through Microsoft Teams or Zoom, as well as asynchronous content. You can then use a timetable to specify the live lessons that the students need to follow. Let me show you how this is done in Moodle. First, we need to go to the Moodle plugins directory, and this is moodle.org. So in your browser, type in moodle.org, press enter, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and click on plugins. In here, in your search bar, type in timetable. You can either press enter or click on search. The first plugin, click on it, and here you'll see the timetable plugin. You can read through the documentation, see the snapshots they provide. But when you want to download it, click on versions and download the correct version. So click on download and this will download to your downloads folder on your computer. Go to your Moodle site. We can close this now. On your Moodle homepage, click on Site Administration. Now click on Plugins, and then click on Install Plugins. Drag the downloaded plugin to the drop zone, or you can choose choose a file, choose a file again, and go to your Downloads folder, click Open and then click Upload this file. Since we already have it here, let's scroll down and click Install Plugin from the zip file. This will install the plugin. Click on Continue on the screen. And now, since we've added an upgrade key, I need to add the upgrade key. If you're not familiar on how to add an upgrade key, just watch the video appearing on the screen right now. Click on Submit. And now it will continue installing the plugin. Click on Continue. Scroll down. And again, click on Upgrade Moodle Database Now. You'll see there's um, success that the plugin was installed um, correctly. Click on continue. Once my plugin is installed, I go to my dashboard. Now I want to add my timetable block somewhere here on my dashboard, but I want to add it to all the users or all the students. If I add it here now, it will only show up on my dashboard and not on the student's dashboard. So I need to go to Site Administration, go to Appearance, and then go to Default Dashboard Page. Here, I can reset this dashboard to, for all users by clicking on this button here. But first, I want to add the timetable block to this area here. So let's turn editing on. And now I want to add a block by clicking on Add Block. Scroll down to where I see Timetable. If I scroll down now, you'll see the timetable is added at the bottom. I want it at the top, so I'll just drag it by clicking and dragging it, moving it up. Okay. So I'll move it to the top of the page, just above the learning plans. Okay, so I'll add it like that. Okay, so now if I click on, if I leave this page now, it won't save to all the other users. So I need to click on Reset Dashboard for all users. So I'll click on that now. 
and it will reset the dashboard and all the users will now see the timetable. Okay, so let's start adding um, events to the timetable. So we can either go to the calendar or we can click on add new event. So click on add new event. Now you need to specify what type of event is it? Is it a course event, a site event or a user event? Okay, so we'll leave it on user or we can choose a site. Let's call this maths and we'll specify its algebra. Okay, we can provide a description here. Let's copy and paste the name, add it to the description. We can specify the date as well as the time. So let's make this the 11th and that's Monday and let's start at 8 o'clock. Okay, scroll up. We'll start at 8 o'clock and I can specify the duration. Is it without duration or is it just um, one period for maths algebra? Okay, so I'll specify that. So let's make it the 11th and it starts at 8 and it ends at 08.30. Okay, so or I can specify it's a duration in minutes. I can specify there, let's make it 40 minutes. Okay, is this a repeated event? Yes. So repeat it five times. Okay, so repeat weekly, creating altogether five. Okay, so let's save. And now my first event is created. Okay, let's create another event. Click on new. We'll stay on Monday. We'll call this English. Okay, let's go. We'll leave it on Monday, 11th of July. And now let's go to, let's make this nine o'clock. Okay, and this is for user, show more. I can specify again in minutes. Let's make this 45 minutes. And I repeat this event five times. Let's click save. Okay, so now I have two events. So let's view these events. So let's go to my dashboard again and you'll see now my timetable there's nothing in my timetable if i go to my calendar you'll see there my maths algebra as well as my english and it will go on to the particular dates i've set okay so let's just go to my dashboard again Okay, so now let's add a new event for Tuesday. So let's click on new event and we'll call this uh, geometry. Let's also call this maths geometry. And this is for the 12th. Uh, and I'll do eight o'clock again. This is for users show more. Uh, and I'll make this uh, 45 minutes and I'll repeat it five times. Okay, click on save and now a new event is created. Okay, so maths geometry. Okay, so now let's go to our dashboard. So this is my timetable and I have no events for today. Okay, so once I want to specify the dates, you'll see there's my dates on my calendar, the 11th, the 12th, the 18th, the 19th, the 25th, the 26th, and so forth. Okay. Okay, so now remember when we added these events, we've specified that it's only for the user. So when John logs in, he will see all these events. Okay. Uh, but if we specify it to be on site level, the type of event, let's click on site and save. This will now show up on all the users' calendars. Okay, so let's change this to be a site event. And also this one, site event and save. And also this one. And these two. Okay, so let's change that one as well. Let's 
side and that one as well okay and then the last one okay that's site and save okay so now we have all our site events so let's log out here and log back in as a student let's use andy log in as andy and immediately when you see andy logs in you'll see the timetable when he goes to the calendar you'll see there's all the events on andy's calendar okay and then you can click on upcoming events monthly events it will show the monthly events so there you see on a monday on a tuesday and we can fill up the whole month uh, with the courses and once he clicks on that particular course or subject, you'll see the note, um, the time for that uh, particular course as well as the name of the course. You can click on that uh, calendar event and it will show the specific calendar event. Now once Andy's here on his calendar, he can actually export this to his own calendar by clicking on export. You can import export the calendar by using these two buttons you can either import a new one or export this one by clicking on export now we can choose to export the all the events or just events related to the category events related to the course or his personal events or events create um, related to the group as well as the time period the next week this this month recent or a custom range okay so if he clicks on custom you can specify the range okay so if he clicks on this month you can click on get calendar url or export and this will usually export the calendar events for that particular month now you need to specify your what type of events all events and then this month and then click on export and this will export those calendar events as an ICS file, which you can import in either Google or Outlook. So let's go back to my dashboard as Andy. Andy can also add an event by clicking on add a new event and then specifying an, an event. Okay, but now you'll see Andy can only create an event for him. So he can actually set up uh, his own timetable um, to notify him on specific events within a course so that's the difference the admin or the teacher can set up a course event or a site event but the user can only set up a user event okay uh, and this will only display on the user's calendar uh, so I, if i go now to let's say this is a test on maths and Andy specified it for the 12th of July at that time. Duration, um, it's without duration, or you can set it on, let's say, 35 minutes. Repeated event, no, this is not a repeated event. So click on save, remember we set it on 12. Okay, so this is now his test on the 12th at that time, okay? If I log in as another user, this won't end up on that user's timetable. Again, you can go to upcoming events and it will display his timetable according to what the teacher has set. Let's log in back as a teacher. Okay, so now on the calendar, you'll see that uh, these are the, the events that I've created. And you'll see um that andy's test is not on my event list okay and although i'm the admin i will i can't see that uh, test that andy created so that's only for his calendar events okay so as a teacher you can also delete some events okay by clicking on the delete icon 
So if I click on delete icon, it will ask me, are you sure you want to delete this? Delete all events in this series. Remember, I've created different days for maths algebra. So I can just click on either delete this event or delete all events. So I click on delete this event and it will delete that specific event. If I want to change the settings within a, an event, I can click on the gear icon, change the name, change the date or the time, change site or user or category, go to show more, add a description, add a location. I can click on without duration or I can leave it on until and I can also um, change the repeated events whether it's repeated or not. Okay, click on save when I'm done and it will be updated accordingly. You can also from here I can go to my calendar or time. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our timetable set up, let's go and change the format of how it will display to the users. Okay. So let's go to turn editing on. And then next to timetable click on the gear icon and let's click on configure timetable block now the default view is on today and that's why it's displaying let's go back it's displaying nothing for me now because today is sunday so there's no events okay so let's click on the gear icon again go to the drop down list and click on this week Click on save. So now you'll see there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm on Sunday. Okay. If I go back to configure timetable block, and if I select upcoming events and click on save, you'll now see my upcoming events tomorrow. So there's my event for tomorrow, it's English, and it's on Tuesday, it's Maths, okay? So I want to leave it on this week, okay? I'll click on Save. So now I can see the particular dates, okay? If I click on Monday, it will show me what happens on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but this is last Monday, remember? So I'm seeing this uh, today is the end of the week, so next week it will show me Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, let's go back into configure. Available view, it only shows me today. Let's change this to leave it on no. This week, leave it on yes, and upcoming events, leave it on yes. This is the available view okay limit events to five okay we'll leave it on that but in the select view let's choose horizontal okay so let's click on save so now you'll see we have a horizontal view of everything that's happening within the week so if i cl now click on this week and select upcoming you'll see now it's like a little timetable for the users i have yeah, I have tomorrow, which is Monday, then I have Tuesday, and when I create more events for particular days, it will fill up uh, like a timetable, okay? And this is how easy it is to set up a timetable for your students. Once it's set up for the whole month, you can populate it for all the months within the year. You can change it accordingly, uh, and this also sends out reminders to the students uh, to remind them on um, the specific date they have um, that particular subject or test or whatever okay and this is how easy it is to set up a timetable i really hope this video was helpful please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel